In this video I want to use Adobe Flash to create a basic navigation menu that allows me to jump back and forth through different frames in a movie. So I've got a blank stage here and I'm using Action Script 2 on this one because I want to use some built-in behaviors that Flash provides. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to Insert, New Symbol, and I'm going to create my basic button symbol. So I'll even call it my basic button. The type will be a button and click OK. Now like other symbols, um, a button has its own timeline. In this case though, a button has a timeline, a special timeline, with four specific frames. The up, over, down, and hit. Up is how the button looks when nobody's messing with it. Over is when they hover their mouse over it. Down is when they click. And hit is the clickable range or the clickable area of the button. So for non-standard buttons, you know, things like maybe text or pictures, uh, the hit it becomes even more critical. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a very boring looking button here. I see that I've got a green fill, so I'll go to my rectangle tool. I've got a green fill, and let me change over here my color panel. Let me change, change the stroke a little bit, so now I've got a stroke on there. And with my properties, with my properties that I just moved over here to the right side, um, I'll give my stroke just a little bit more size. Okay, and I'll go ahead and draw my button. Okay, so that's the up stage, that's how my button's gonna look. I'm gonna go to the over stage, and I'll F6, make a keyframe, and I think for this one I will change the fill from that medium green over to a darker green. I'll go to the down stage, and I'll press F6 to make that a keyframe. And for this one, let's see, I will I'll select this and go to my properties panel, Let me close my colors panel, and I'll just make the stroke a little bit bigger. So when they click, you know, that's going to happen. And for hit, all I need to do here is just press F6. Since my button has a very obvious clickable shape, a uh, big red rect or big rec rectangle, the hit's going to be pretty easy. So there's my basic button. And I'll go jump back over to scene one, and we'll see that in my library, I do have my basic button available to me. Okay, so now that I've got that basic button clip created, I'm going to insert and I'm going to create a new symbol. This time I'm going to create my main menu. And this one will be a movie clip symbol. And I'll simply click OK here, and I've got a timeline. And what I'm going to do now is I want to put some basic animation. So I've done this in some other videos, and we can see some more later on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and create multiple layers and this one I'll call my actions layer this one I'll call button 1 button 2 and button 3 and just so I can see how it's going to look, I'll say like I'm doing 24 frames per second here so I'll go to about frame 12, so I'm selecting frame 12 in each of my three button layers, and I'll go ahead and F6, make those all keyframes, and for button one, I'm going to take my basic button, bring that on to working area. For button two, I'm editing button two layer, I'll bring another basic button in below that, and for button three, frame 12, I'm editing that one, another basic button. Then I'll use my selection tool, make sure all three are selected. I'll go to my align panel, and let's see, I want to make sure these things are all lined up nice and neat. And so I'm just aligning them all to the left. And then I'll distribute them all so there's an equal amount of space. Looks like I already had that pretty good, I guess. So, All right, so now my menu, this is the finished stage. And what I'll do next is kind of animate them so they, the menu kind of builds up a little bit here. Okay, so what I've done here is I've taken my... Uh, classic buttons from frame 12 and I did a copy and paste in place over in frame 1 and then I just moved them all on top of each other and what I'm going to do now is simply right click and I'll create a classic tween for each of these create classic tween so that way as it's animating out you see the menu just kind of build up that way and what I want to do is if I were to put this into my scene it would just keep looping on itself that would just repeat over and over so on my actions layer on frame 12 I'll make a keyframe right there right click go to actions and I'm going to put in a stop function which is simply stop empty set of parentheses semicolon close that out so now I've got 
this animation it'll stop automatically when I use it in my movie. So we can check this out here. I'll simply go back to scene one. I'll take my main menu movie clip symbol from the library and just drag it over here and do a control enter to test it out. And that's the development of my main menu. Now I haven't put an action to any of these yet, so I think I'll go ahead and uh, do that. So on scene one, ultimately I want this thing to get built up. Uh, but since my buttons are going to have a primary action, I can take care of that right on the main menu. So I'll right click and edit my main menu from the library, go to frame 12, and I'm going to put a behavior for each of these buttons. So my first button, I'll go to my behaviors panel, and I'm going to have this movie clip. I'm going to go to and stop at a particular frame. I'm going to go from the root, not from the main menu here. I'm going to go from the root. I want it to go to frame 20. I haven't done anything on this yet, but I will in a little bit here. I'm going to go to frame 20 for one of them. And then for my second button, movie clip, I'm going to go to and play from the root at frame 40. Click OK. And for this third button, I will um, movie clip, go to and stop at frame 60. So, oops, from the root. I want to do that from the root and 60 and OK. So now these buttons will have some action. Basically, once my menu develops, clicking on button 1 will go to frame 20, clicking on button 2 will go to frame 40 and continue to play, and clicking on frame, um, or clicking on button 3 will go to frame 60. Okay. So now that that's taken care of, I've got my main menu layer. So menu and now I'm going to create some other layers on here and I'm going to have layers I'm going to create an actions layer like I did for my movie timeline that'll be up near the top and I'm going to create three other layers for something that happens on frame 20 something that happens on frame 40 and something that happens on um, frame 60 there we go so now I have some new layers I've got an actions layer main menu layer which of course has my main menu on it frame one there something that'll happen on frame 20, something that'll happen on frame 40, something that'll happen on frame 60. And I'll go ahead and do the, um, in this movie, I'll go ahead and do the uh, frame 20 message. So I'm just going to jump over to frame 20, press F6, make that a keyframe. Using my text tool, I'll put in a basic mess message here. You are on frame 20. Takes care of that. And now let me test out my movie. Ah, interesting. I'm getting a looping action. This is pretty normal. Movie's going to loop. So let's do this in, in addition. My actions layer needs to tell my movie when to stop. Otherwise, it'll just keep playing in and on itself. I know we can do the loop thing, but this I want it to stop right at frame 20 here. So although I could put an action right on here on frame 20 of my frame 20 message layer instead I'm gonna use my actions layer to keep track of all my actions and I'm gonna make a keyframe right there right click actions I'll put in another stop close that out so when someone clicks on a button on frame 20 it'll stop right there but I also want it to stop after the movie plays so I don't want it to just go from frame 1 and automatically go to frame 20 and then stop I want it to stop after frame 1 too so I'm gonna right click on frame 1 there's already a keyframe there put in another action and I'm gonna stop it here so the movie will stop at frame 1 the menu of course will show up because it's all contained on frame 1 and then when someone clicks a button it'll jump to frame 20 and stop there let's test it now menu develops I can click on button 1 and that'll take me to frame 20 in the next video part 2 of this I'll make some animations and we'll do some things for these next two buttons in the um, in the in the menu